Thank you for tuning in to our channel, JMD Janitorial. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel now. In today's video, we're going to go over conference room cleaning. Perhaps one of your clients, one of your customers at a location that you're servicing has a small conference room such as the one that we're in now. It just has a conference room table, a few chairs, they have a uh, television monitor, and few garbage cans and that's pretty much it well today's video we're going to cover how do you efficiently and effectively clean a conference room of this size so before we begin make sure that you have your proper PPE make sure that you have your gloves preferably nitro gloves make sure that you have your proper eyewear protection so some of the tools and equipment that you're going to need to effectively clean a room like this is your duster. This is going to cover for low and high dusting. You're going to need your trash bags for your can liners, for your smaller cans. You're going to need your cleaning, your uh, cleaning solution. Today we're going to use a product by Spartan. It is a multi-surface cleaner and it has a very pleasant scent to it, a mint scent, and it's a general disinfectant cleaner, and I like this one. And we're also gonna make sure that we keep, as always, our rags. They're gonna be uh, microfiber rags, and with JMD Janitorial, we use a color-coded rag system, so one may be used to wipe down like the monitor, this red one, for example, can be used to wipe down the conference room table top. And let's say the, uh, th uh, the green one can be used on whatever other surface that you want to use in here. Maybe there were some pictures hanging or something like that. So without further delay, I always like to begin. So as I was stating, without further delay, I always like to begin with my dusting, starting from high to low. So I'm going to go around the room, just follow where uh, as I go around the room and we cover some of the dusting. So let's begin. So now we're going to go low and I always want to make sure that I focus on the corners, the baseboards, uh, where cobwebs and spider webs can accumulate. All right, so that was a quick little uh, dusting high and low. Um, you can, if you like, you can always use your duster to go over the table. You can uh, use your duster to get under here on the chair legs, like such. The bottom of the chairs, the bottom of the tables, like such. Going under here, the bottom of the legs of the chairs. And these are just little tips that will ultimately help keep your clients satisfied and most importantly, keeping the dust um, down to a very minimum. Cobwebs down to a minimum as well. So with a conference room table like this, being that we're using a multi-surface uh, cleaner, I'm not going to spray the table directly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my rag. And in fact, I'm not going to saturate my rag. I'm going to let the solution do the work. And typically, um, if you do put down spray on a table, all of these solutions require a 10 minute sit time. So you wanna give the solution an opportunity um, to do its job. Um, in the sense of this video and for a time, we're not gonna uh, spray it and let it sit for 10 minutes and then pick up there. So today, we're gonna just spray a fine mist here on the rack. And then we're going to go around, we're going to wipe the table. And like I always tell my staff, 
On one side, you're going to wipe to the middle, back and forth. It's always one motion, back and forth. You see they have a conference room uh, phone here. You want to wipe down the conference room phone, lift it up, and then again you're going to go all one motion front to back, come across, front to back. At this point, we're going to flip the rag so I can use another side, grab a little bit more solution. Get the other side here. Slide this one here for a moment. Okay, so I want to wipe down the handles of the chair and the back of the chair. All the handles of the chair and the back of the chair. Sometimes you'll see where lint will build up inside of the chair. It behooves you to just use your rag and just go over it and just wipe it off. But as we go around, we wipe the back of these chairs. You know, I just kind of put myself in my customer's shoes. If I was about to hold a meeting uh, with my customers or with a potential client, the last thing I want is for them to sit inside of a chair that's uh, pretty dusty or looks like uh, there's no real care to it or no one's been taking care of it. So, you know, that's what I like to do. I, and that's what I teach uh, my staff as our core values. You know, um, customer satisfaction. There used to be a, a mantra out there that said the customer is always right. You know, uh, where has that sentiment gone? But at any rate, so we just wiped down the table, we just wiped down the chairs, we did the high and we did the low dusting. One other thing that I always keep on my cart as well, um, and this is just for spot checking, but I keep Spartan um is the brand and it's a carpet stain remover it's very fast and effective something you can take with you on the go in case you're in a conference room like this or in a carpeted area and you know in conference rooms they're having uh, maybe a breakfast they're having a brunch maybe a late lunch or something like that there's coffee there's soda so a lot of times you're going to get um you know when something may spill so this is something good that you want to keep on your cart as well and it's just a uh, carpet stain remover okay so there's a, a trash bucket here but the trash bucket is completely empty but if it was not empty and let's say it was filled the contents of it had uh you know a sticky in there and it had paper in there and that was the only contents inside of the can well in that case I would just simply dump it that way. Now, if there's chewing gum inside of here, if there's staples inside of here, if there's uh, coffee still inside the cups inside of here or soda cans inside of here, then you're simply definitely going to uh, take the bag out and then you're gonna to wanna to tie it and then put it inside of your big can.